Well, it's the 27th of August and I've just come down to look at some potatoes I've planted on the 12th of August. So that's 15 days ago. There were some I had left over, pink fir apples, and I always find that they do shit very late if they shit at all. And after such a terrible summer we've had this year, and my first lots of potatoes have all been burnt off by blight, I thought I'd give these a try. So I'm quite amazed how much they've grown in 15 days. I've uh, burst them up and put some rabbit manure along with them. I'm afraid I've had to put some slug killer because the slugs got a bit rampant everywhere. And um, I'm looking forward to great things on these. And in a moment I'm just going off to dig up some other pink fir apples that are planted which are now sadly um, blighted off and we're just going to see what, what's underneath them. Well, we've arrived down at the other allotment and uh, here are the uh, other pink fir apple potatoes which are, um, well I'm not sure whether they've been blighted or not, they've obviously got something and we're going to see what, you know, what's in under the ground there. Um, we're not only going to be using a normal fork, we've also got the Wolf Terex Auto Spade and that uh, makes it a lot easier for digging up, digging up potatoes. Um, here's my assistant here, just demonstrating the Wolf Terex Auto Spade. Let's see what we get anyway. Well, welcome back. Um, I didn't do any video of the digging up the pink furs because I found it all a bit depressing. They weren't that special at the end of the day, so uh, I, I sort of got a bit disheartened. But um, now I've just saw, seen the two videos, I thought I'd better just finish it all up. So um, we, I did, we did get some, and um, they're not too bad. Uh, I got, I've got, I don't know, about five or six pounds of um, little potatoes, and uh, um, Pink fir apples, they're not, they don't grow very big to start with really, it, it, it is one of, <laughs> uh, pink fir apples, uh, I mean that's not very big, um, but uh, they're quite, we scrubbed them up and they're quite tasty, so uh, uh, let's hope the others do a bit better, I mean I reckon a potato needs sort of three months of summer weather. Now, seeing as mine were planted on the 12th of August, 12th of September, 12th of October, 12th of November, yeah, but that, if, they, if we don't get frost in November, that's going to be cold anyway, so it's not going to be optimum growing. So, um, if we had a sort of wonderful, you know, we keep hearing the words Indian summer, but sometimes I have known that well, we haven't had a frost before Christmas, so, so if we had one of those sorts of years where we didn't really have a frost, uh, we might be might be all right. The might, potatoes might be okay, and of course there's the slugs and um, all sorts of other variables. Uh, but uh, well, you have to have a go. Any, anyway, uh, one one thing about potatoes, even if they don't yield a great amount, they do let, let, leave the soil in a nice sort of crumbly condition. So they do the the soil good. So here's signing off for this video and uh, wishing you all the well and blessings and. Um, hopefully do some more videos very near in the future. Bye.